been a long time coming. They ain't cuffing my cloth, they tugging it. Putting up numbers, 99 pounds, and I still kept it a hundred. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They ain't cuffing my cloth, they tugging it. Putting up numbers, 99 pounds, and I still kept it a hundred. Yeah, who don't play? Who play? Who? Absolute beautiful day here in the desert. Just got the rig hooked up, about to catch big honey. Post trick riding, I am extremely sore. Like I can't even remember the last time that I was this full body sore, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it feels freaking good. Had an absolute blast, worked some muscles that I haven't worked in a while apparently. The inside of my knees are so sore from landing in the saddle and scratching and clawing my way back in the middle of it. And obviously, I'm pretty roughed up from taking that slam. I got some gnarly cuts on my back and my elbows all cut up and jacked up with some basically road rash you know hitting the dirt at a what I what it felt like is a high level of speed but when you watch it man I was freaking slow loping <laughs> but we're about to catch the dude we're gonna head over to Grady Quams and we're gonna rope with Grady and Madison this morning look at the rack on this bad boy hell yeah brother Squad's getting horses warmed up and getting cattle pushed up. Looks like I'm gonna get to heal some today. Pretty stoked. the other Please, side dude no oh yeah there we go <laughs> you're beautiful all right had a pretty stellar practice sesh here with gq and madison felt really good to heal some a little horse that i was on he felt freaking rank a little short neck on him you could see the feet all the way around there he was a lot of fun to rope on feels like a god dang alberta summer day down here today a little bit of cloud coverage. About to load up Ladu. We're headed to 40. You're gonna run one in the eight today.
All right, you hosers, I'm over the moon stoked for what's going down today. I just got the rig hooked up and Ladue loaded. We're headed to Casa Grande. We're going to rope with one of my personal childhood idols, somebody that I looked up to and studied their videos and how they did things. And we're talking about Cesar de la Cruz. Fourth round, the steer stopped. But Steve Priscilla, they got him and they can set the arena record. They are going to be fast. Look at that. What did I tell you, huh? <laughs> Derek finally cracked some pain out. You know, I asked you. That's like We're going to Rope with Caesar today. Pretty stoked. Let's get after it. This is Chiquita Banana. You know, the little bananas you get at the store. Oh, Healing boots. Not doing it, Cole. This is Cowboys Tetherball. Man, I think it's the best man wins. You got the best horse. You're good. You're really cheap. Really brings it across. Oh, you got really Not too bad. Almost got it, dude. Almost got this. Make, make that pull right in the middle. The front legs and steers come out of there too, crawling. They're just, the front feet are just kind of doing the same thing. There you got it. You touch that thing. Yeah, we'll fill them up. This one we're throwing right here. That was bad. Okay, we did a quick lap around Caesar's place, caught a couple donkeys, roped a goat. Roped a big old set of wide legs that he said he had custom made for him when he was making the NFR and he said he wanted to practice really covering the feet because the steers they roped were so big and they would get a little nasty in the corner and their feet would be this freaking wide. So um, he adapted the dummy so he could practice exactly that and it was freaking hard to get all the way across it. But I did slap that left leg a few times so I think we did all right. We just got saddled up. We're going to head over to the arena. I want to shout out my rodeo sponsors for 2024. We have Griffin RE, CIR Okotoks. We have Jones Boy Saddlery and Western Wear in Pinoca. And Cactus Canada hooking us up with ropes. So thank you guys. We appreciate the sport. Let's go run some of Caesar. I don't know who these guys are, but these are freaking badass. Corral Caddy. They just fit right over the square tubing. Boom. Set your drink, your beer, Slurpee, your milkshake, your Ryan Coke, your vodka water, your straight vodka, your tequila, your mezcal, your hot chocolate, your cold chocolate, your hot coffee, iced coffee, mocha latte, whatever you want, and set her in it.
Hey. Got to turn some steers for one of Caesar's clients that he had come out for some roping lessons today. Very happy I was able to just throw some good head loops and give some good handles on Ladue. Ladue is feeling freaking phenomenal and it was really nice today. Caesar had some really good trainer cows that I could rope and steer stop and just keep them in there, keep them moving off my legs and he's feeling freaking awesome. But my head rope went through the strip and shoot so I gotta run these suckers back and retrieve my peacemaker. This is my current predicament. You, give me back my head rope. I gotta run them all the way up the alley to get it back, but let me tell you what, I've ran farther for worse. We just rolled into Scottsdale, Arizona. Slack performance this morning. We got Grady Quam, duck and beef for Tice McLeod. Came to watch the homie. rigs you see around these places are friggin' insane. Hi right, Grady, what do you got for a head rope? I got the GT4 right here. What do you like about it? And I like that it just stays so true the whole whole time and I just never have to second guess about them. And wherever I put them, where they're gonna go. So if it comes off, it's my fault. And how stiff do you like to use your head ropes? Not very stiff at all, I'm an extra soft. Very nice. Chill. Chill. Let's go. I was born to kill it. I was meant to win. I am down to willing, so I will find a way. It took a minute, and I did not go right away. When they get hot in the kitchen, you decide to stay. That's how it went up, made. Stick a fork in the hater on my dinner plate. I walk into the fire like it's just a bit of flames. I push my style up, push the money pile up. I'm a gear rich or die trying, want me to switch lanes. I'm always getting better, I'm gonna be your fifth place. On this one, then four for the next. Third, second, first, I'm the best. Ah, you're good, huh?